Hey y'all, this is Rhonda. Nice to finally meet you. I told y'all y'all to see me. Um, yeah, my eyes have been healing. That's the reason I haven't showed myself in my videos. I had eyelid surgery. And what happened was my eyelids had these fatty deposits and they were sagging, especially the one in the right eye. Both eyes were done, but my right eye was nearly closed. So I can see now. I couldn't see very well put this makeup on, though. I haven't wore makeup. Oh, my Lord. And I'm not lying. Probably in about 20 years. So, uh, and I can't put it on with glasses on. So, I just had to wing it. But before I come out here and done this, my husband gave me the thumbs up. So, anyhow. What I'm doing today is I started doing this. I started painting. This month, actually, is two years. I started in November of 2021, and I've acquired a lot of paintings. Actually, this is a she shed we're in. We had to go get a shed because there was no more room in the house for paintings. And, I mean, that's how many I have. And I'm going to auction them off, half price. And I'm going to show you 10 to 15 paintings in each video. So today we're doing, I think, 13. Um, I've already made a video, well, yo. And uh, the camera was showing in the resin really bad because there's no light out here. I have a drop cord with one plug in run out here. So I went and got my ring light. And it really helped. It took the glare off. And so I'm doing another video. So here we go. I'm going to start with my angel. This one is on a regular um, canvas. It's a 10 by 20. And I don't normally name my paintings, but I named this one because I believe in angels. I have a guardian angel, actually. If you want to talk about it, I'll tell y'all about her. Just leave me a comment, okay? But anyway, let me show her to you. Can you see her? That's her head. And this is her dress coming down. And then her her wings coming out. And then right there, she's got gold coming out for her halo. Yeah, this one's called Guardian Angel. And she has a resin top coat. And this one... Is for sale half price. She is gorgeous. I just wish you could see the shimmer. Um, I'm not a photographer and I ain't figured out how to show you that yet. But this painting shimmers. Actually, every painting I do shimmers because I use pigments or iridescent paint in everything I do. Anyway, what we're going to do is this is number one. And if you're interested in purchasing one of these paintings, you just tell me, leave me a comment or an email and tell me, say, well, I'm interested in painting number one, or I'm interested in painting number 10, and we'll do it. I'll get it shipped to you, okay? Painting number one. And I'm going to have to mark these as I go. Okay. <clears throat> painting number two. Where are you at? Here we go. This is painting number two. This one's on a, a gallery wrap deep edge canvas. And all my canvases are very clean and neat on the back. And if you purchase one, what will happen is I'll sign it and stamp it with my logo right here. And I'll sign it and date it. And then I wrap and package and ship myself all my paintings. <clears throat> I love these colors in this painting. Look at that. Oh my Lord. Look at that. Uh-oh, I hit the ring light. Okay, 
That's painting number two. And we're going to put number two on it so I'll know what's going on. Number two. <clears throat> I can hear my chickens outside the door here. <laughs> this one is painting number three, and it's on a regular canvas. I haven't even <laughs> melted the resin off yet and took the tape off of this one. I need to go do that. I'm going to move this ring light back just a tad. There we go. Can y'all tell I love purples and paints? <laughs> I have a few earth tones and blue paintings. The, actually, this one's already stamped and signed. I, I need new ink in my stamp done. Oh. This one's number three. And it's half price. Uh oh, I dropped the pitcher. Okay, number three. Number four is right here. This is a 12 by 36 inch gallery wrap deep edge canvas. And I take special care when I'm doing my paintings to make sure that the sides are as beautiful as the front and also the backs. And this is one of my favorite paintings. And I have... I posted it on, on my Facebook group and other groups many, many times, and I haven't gotten a lot of reaction for this painting, like I do some paintings, but I just love it. I just love, 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 love this painting. I guess because I'm a, a paint freak. I don't know if you can tell the orange from the pink, but... And it's coated with a coat of KS resin. I do resin all of my paintings. And if you want to commission me to do a painting for you, I can do it any size, any color combo that you would like. But you don't have to have resin if you don't want it. We could use varnish. Varnish doesn't have the glare and the glass, glassy look like resin does. It's shiny. It makes it real pretty. And it, it helps protect... Excuse me, my, my strap's falling. And it'll help protect the paint also, the varnish. So, just, you know, whatever you would want. Alrighty. That was painting number four. Here's painting number five, 15 by 30 inch painting, um, <laughs> gallery wrapped, 15 by 30 inch, <coughs> excuse me, I love the center of this one. Look at that. Ah, get the camera off of there. I love earth tones. That's number five.
This one is not for sale, half price. This is the last painting I did on my YouTube channel. And it is on a gallery wrap, deep edge canvas. The back is nice and clean. This is a beautiful painting right here. Okay, that's painting number six. I'm gonna be busy wrapping these back up <laughs> for the rest of the day. Here's painting number seven. This is a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap, deep edge canvas. Nice, neat sides. I made this one uh, shortly after I started painting a couple of years ago maybe three months into it. I saw uh, Canela Sirocco. That's where I learned to paint. Watching her, uh, that's how I learned to do the Dutch pour. Um, my blooms, let me see. I believe this is the only bloom that I've got in this episode is the angel painting. And I learned to do my blooms by watching Lisa Marvin on YouTube. So, those two are my queens. And, well, you can't leave out Rinske Downa. Uh, she has a painting similar to this, too. But, thank you, Canela. Thank you, Lisa Marvin. Rinske, thank y'all. I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for those women. Painting number seven for sale, half price, right here. Painting number eight. I've had this one a long time too. And it is, it's gorgeous. Y'all would just, you, the videos and the pictures, just don't do them justice. You just have to see it. Seriously. And this painting here has four coats of resin. It is just gorgeous. And that Beautiful dark blue. It's got fingerprints on it. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have buffed it the first. But um, that beautiful, mysterious dark blue. Oh, my. And I still got to take the resin, resin drips off of this one, too. Gorgeous painting. And, oh, this is a 20 by 20 inch. Let me step back. You can hang it that way. That way. That darn light. I'm sorry. I'm not a photographer. <laughs> I need some light out here. Hey, I, I just now realized I can put it, well, no, it just depends on which way you tilt it or you don't see the camera. I can tilt it like that and you don't see the camera. I bet y'all are laughing at me. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
Painting number eight. For sale. Half price. I'm going to put it back over here. <clears throat> I got you another piece of tape, y'all. Okay. Painting number eight. Right there. Another beauty. Painting number nine. 24 by 24 inch gallery wrap deep edge canvas. This is one of my newer paintings and she's not for sale. This is full price. Full price. She's huge. I don't know why, but I can't do small canvases. I mean, the way I see it is if I was to go shopping for a piece of art from my home. I, I want something grand, you know, something to go over the behind my couch or over my couch or in my hallway or my stairway. I just want something big and beautiful. And so that's why I do big and beautiful. Maybe that's why I can't sell anything. My, because, you know, the bigger they are, the more they cost. The more it costs me to make them. But I, I just can't do little. I mean, if you want to hire me to do a commission for you, of course. Any size you want. Small, large, medium. Anyhow. Look at that. That is just beautiful. And that iridescent white. Let me turn my light back around. I'm going to have to watch more videos on YouTube, y'all, to find out how to uh, make videos. I got to watch videos to learn how to make videos. Because I'm not good at it. I'm sorry. But I'll learn. I will learn. Just please be patient with me, okay? Painting number nine, for sale. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I got paintings everywhere. Painting number 10. Is another uh, one of my newer ones. Two foot by two foot. Gallery wrap, deep edge. This one's already signed and dated. 2023. This one's for sale, at full price. Number 10. So if you're interested, just say, I'm interested in painting number 10. And we got two to go. Painting number 11. This one is old. It's probably like a month after I started painting, I believe. So, about two years ago. There's no resin or varnish or nothing on her. So, there's no glare from the camera. Oh, this one's pretty. Look at those cells. And she shimmers. Oh, look at that shimmer. She's for sale, half price, 
20 by 20 inch gallery wrap deep edge canvas. Put her picture on her with her number. That way I'll know. I've got a picture uh, with a number on it. I'm going to show you how I'm keeping track of these. And then when I wrap them in the uh, bubble wrap, I'll put this on the outside and I'll stack them up and like in a filing cabinet, just and go through them and find what I need. That's my method of doing this. Number 12. This one is the only one that I have that I use varnish on. Um, I saw uh, Rinske Downa. She was talking about using the Golden Archival Gloss Varnish, Spray Varnish. I've learned, you wouldn't believe the paintings. Well, I know three beautiful paintings trying to varnish them with a brush and every one of them's got brush marks on them so the spray varnish does not leave brush marks i love it and see it gives it a beautiful shine look at that but it's not real glassy like the resin is This is a 10 by 20 inch canvas, and it's for sale, half price. Number 12. And the very last one is this beauty. <clears throat> gallery wrapped 24 by 24 inch look at those colors can you see the shimmer She's for sale full price. She was the first of my, di I call these here my diamond series. I'm doing them in different colors of split, of the split base. This one's green with cream. All of them are cream. They're not white. I, I just don't like blinding, that blinding white color. So I always use cream. Real light cream. It's not dark. And that real pretty shade of green. Green and purple just go so well together. Anyhow, this is the end of the paintings. Number 13. For sale. Full price. And... Every week, I'm going to be doing this because um, I've got a lot more paintings. 10 to 15 paintings a week, I'll be showing you. And if you're interested in any of these paintings, like I said, just tell me the number and um, we'll do it. I haven't sold a painting in a long time, y'all. I, I need to sell some paintings, so... And please subscribe and watch my videos. That would help me out a lot. And it was finally nice to meet everybody. Bye. This is Rhonda from Georgia.